That's why we out here, man. The blood ain't finna be on our hands, but we're gonna come through the works. We're gonna get the blood off our hands, and we're gonna go and be docile and to worship this white, this red image of sexual bourgeois, man. It's a key knowledge. It should be making you feel good. That's what you think Pastor Howard is doing. God ain't evil. Our God hate a certain race. Have a shot, bless. Hey, man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, God concerning Edom. So who is Edom? Any scholars up here? Mohan is the Chinese, Hamon is the Japanese, Edom, the Edomites, that's the so-called white man, because that term didn't come out until 1681, go do your research. That's right. The vision of Obadiah, that says the Lord God determined Edom, we have heard a rumor from the Lord. An ambassador is sent among the heathens. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathens. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliff of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that said it in their heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So what nation exalt themselves as the eagle? Any scholars up here? And though thou set thy nest among the stars, what nation went up in space? Anyone can answer that? Then will I bring thee down, says the Lord. If thieves come to thee, if robbers by night, how aren't I cut off? Would they not have stolen till they've had enough? If the grape gatherers come to thee, would they not have leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought out through these trips? That's how Esau is searched out. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in the white race. So they rob, they steal, they murder. That's right. They bring hell upon the earth. That's right. There's God. And then they come with what? With peace? But at the same time, you people got to work hard. And they don't even want to pay you that much money. They came here and stole your gold, stole your pearls, still stealing your vegetables and your fruits and your fish today. And would they trade off for you with McDonald's, Burger King, Coca-Cola, Pepsi? They took you from your province, from all your land, all your farmland. And they made a what? They colonized you and made a democracy for their wealth. Shall not I, as they said, the Lord destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding out of the mount of Esau? That mount is his government. And thy mighty men, O T man, shall be dismayed to the end. That every one of the mount of Esau shall be cut off by slaughter. Why? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Jacob had twelve. Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zephyr, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, Naphtali. The Lord said, for the shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. That says God. Let's get some more. Revelation. 
chapter 13, verse 9, verse 10. Bring it out. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience in the faith of the saints. Let's get some more. Let's go to Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee I will give for prayer. That's what the Lord said. I'm reading precept on precept. the book of Micah. Chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out! Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. Woe means destruction biblically. Iniquity is sin. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. And they cover the fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so that they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. So your heritage has been oppressed. Because Roman Catholicism, did Christ have a religion? Anyone can answer that? Can you answer that, ma'am? What did Christ follow? Christ followed the law, statutes, and commandments that his father gave. 613 of them. That's right. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, against this family do I devise an evil, which ye shall not remove your necks. So that family that devised that evil cannot remove their necks from the, the atrocities that they have completed on this earth. Thus says God, because they covered up the faith of Christ. This is such a bullshit. This is the actual man. This is not Christ. This is the depiction of Christ. Like you celebrate your black Nazarene. That's right. That's Christ. All the depictions that's in the Bible that describe. Let's get some of that out of the Bible. The book of Revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ. First chapter, first verse. Bring it out. God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sit and sanctified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Verse 14. His hand and his hands were white like wool. Christ had woolly hair. It was white on top of his head, as white as snow. In his eyes were a flame of fire. In his feet, in his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. In his voice, at the sound of many waters. So your feet is the same color as your body. Brass is a depiction of brown. Let's get another prophet. Just ask the Lord out of the scripture. Let's go to Job 30 and 30. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Bring it out! My skin is blood upon me, and my bones are burnt with me. Job said, my skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. That's Job's description. His skin. Let's get some more. Let's go to Solomon, sons of Solomon, one and five. All 
praise to the most high. This is Psalms of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 5. Bring it out! Blood, the tongue, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tent of Hadar, as the purpose of Solomon. Solomon was the so-called blood man. Let's get some more. Go to Jeremiah 14 and 2. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out! To the morning in the gate there are blankets. They are blocking to the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is going up. So Judah is sharp for Jew. Because Jewish, I-S-H is a subject. Those people that over there in Israel right now are not the real Jews. That's Amalek. That's the Agagites. That's I do. That's the Chaldees. That's the Jesuits. That is not the real Jews. I'm a real Jew. That's right. He grew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I'm from Jerusalem, thus says God. Let's get that in Revelation. Chapter 2, verse 9. And the gates, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gates right now. We ain't got no protection. They are black. They are what? They are black. Now the so-called white man wrote this Bible. They are black. If the so-called white man wrote this Bible and steps on it, they would have took out that the rule 